Hey folks, this is Wesley, Billion Dollar Virgin here. Welcome to another millionaire midnight rant here, Columbia Virgin here. As many of you are aware, I am currently in Medellin, Colombia. Gorgeous country here. Very blessed to be here as well. And I know it's approximately 1234 in Houston, Texas, but here in Colombia, it's 134. How was everybody doing tonight? You've been waiting for me. High energy, high income. Can I hear you guys say it for me? It's 134. And I'm up working. I'm up writing my goals. And I thought about you. And I thought, well, let me share with them how I write my goals and how I'm able to manifest what I want faster. Many of you know who I am. I'm Wesley, billion dollar virgin, born in Houston, Texas, and I'm a PK kid. My dad's a pastor of a church. I grew up pretty poor, pretty average. And just like most of you, I've had bad credit. I've had filed bankruptcy. I was in debt. I made bad decisions in my life. I've been in jail a few times. Don't judge me. I've been in toxic relationships. And there were times, to be very honest with you, that I wanted to give up. You know, if you can relate, let me know in the comments below. You know, when things get so hard, and you start to feel so much anxiety, so much stress about what you're doing and all you want to do is succeed. All you want to do is take care of your family. All you want to do is to be that one person in your family that makes it. Well, that was me. And luckily I didn't give up. And let me tell you guys something here. It's, it's tough, man, it's hard, okay? It's, it's tough. And the tough part is not becoming successful. It's not the hard part. The difficult part is becoming the person that's willing to do it. Okay? Starting successful companies is very easy to do, right? It's not hard. But becoming that type of person that's willing to go through the pain, the no's, the rejections, the tough times, the adversities, the challenges. Well, that person is very unique. And unfortunately, out of 7 billion people that's on the planet here, we've got 1% of people that are willing to do it. That are willing to do what it takes to be able to fly around the world, buy whatever they want to buy, wherever they want to wear, get up when they want to get up, Take care of their family, retire their parents, right? Only the one percent. So before I get into the topic here, I want you to remember something. Listen, every day, all of you have the opportunity to change. Every day, every man and woman it doesn't matter where you live on this planet. You could be a woman. You can be a man, you can be a girl, you can be a boy. But we all have an opportunity every single day to change, to make a new decision, to do something different that we didn't do before. We all have that opportunity. So I don't want you to beat yourself up. Don't be little to yourself. Just understand that you have a new opportunity tomorrow morning to be different, to start to explore different habits, to start to explore different disciplines, to read more, meditate more, write down your goals every day. <laughs> okay? Let's go! Let's go! All right, folks, so listen. So the topic's going to be about how to write down your goals so you can manifest what you want faster. Okay? I've manifested millions of dollars, not to impress you, but I just want you to guys to know who I am. 
currently worth $40 million. That's in, like, I don't have $40 million in a bank, but let's say I have between $5 to $10 million in cash. But I own different companies, digital marketing companies. I'm in Forex. I'm in stock market. I'm in real estate. I got about $10 million in real estate. So, but the more important thing about that is I've manifested this stuff through writing down my goals. Now, now I just moved to Columbia here. I'm going to be starting several ventures out here, seven companies, several businesses. I will be starting out here as well. But I want you to understand this. Everything that I'm doing is not a surprise. Okay. Everything that I'm doing right now in my life, this is no surprise to me. If I go back 10 years and pull out that blue journal that I used to write in every single day, and I'm going to tell you that story. I've told it before, but I'm going to tell it again. What I'm doing right now is in my journal. I said I'm going to have five places around the planet. I had a place in Miami. I have a place in Houston. Now I have a place here in Columbia. Okay. I said I'm going to have a penthouse. And I just, um, I'm renting a penthouse here in Columbia. We're decorating the penthouse to my liking. But what I want you to understand is that everything in my life is not by accident. Everything was on purpose, all because I wrote it down. How many of you have written down your goals? How many of you have a copy? Of your goals comment below okay now what if I told you you were doing it wrong like how you were writing down your goals was incorrect how many of you have written down your goals but you have not manifested the things that you really want okay well it's because you're doing it incorrectly here listen let's go back when I was broke because I know you guys like to hear when I was broke, when Wesley Virgin, you know, when it wasn't Wesley Billion Dollar Virgin, it was Wesley Thousand Dollar Virgin. Okay, let's go back a couple of years here. And I remember at this time, I was in my 20s, okay, about 26, 27. And as you guys are aware, I am a gym fanatic. I love the gym, baby. I mean, I'm ready to go work out right now. Let's go! I'm ready to put that work in, you know, two hours a day. Had a good workout today with a an amazing person, of course. And um, I just like working out. So I was driving a 1988 Honda Accord. And I was driving to a gym by the name of 24-Hour Fitness. Okay. How many of you know what is 24-Hour Fitness? That's like the ghetto version of the gym. I'm going to be honest. It's stinking there. It's nasty. But I love it. I don't know. It's just it's just it's hardcore. I don't know. That's why I started, right? And I will work out there every day, okay? Driving my 1988 Honda Accord, two-story. And after the gym, okay? And the reason why I went to that particular gym in Houston, because around the corner there was, there was a million-dollar neighborhood, okay? Now, if you stay in Houston... If you've been around Houston, you may be aware of a neighborhood by the name of Royal Oaks. How many of you know this neighborhood? Well, if you don't, go Google search it. You need to go check it out. Okay? Um, because I realized something by reading books that if I wanted to feel like a successful man, I had to surround myself with successful people. A successful environment. I'm going to pause this. See, a lot of you right now, you want to be successful. You want to be rich. But you're around your poor average friends. Right? That's you. And we call them Pookie and Ray Ray. You know, you're around these people. Jaleesa and and Shamika and Michelle. You're around these poor average people just like yourself. And what you don't realize and what took me a very long time to realize that your environment influences you, okay? I'll give you an example. If you drive, if you make $30,000 a year, your friend probably makes $30,000 a year. If you live in an apartment, your friend probably lives in an apartment. If you got a Honda Accord, your friend probably have a car just like you, right? But you want something different, correct? And I wanted something different. 
So I decided to go to this gated community. And to get inside of the gated community, I had to lie. Luckily, I was a man that worked out, so I looked fit. So this is what I would do. I would say, um, my name is Wesley Virgin, and I'm here to train a few people at the country club. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. And I spoke with certainty and how I was speaking and communicating, it made them feel that I, that I, that I belong there. Okay. Another reason why it's important to put yourself in these types of, these type of environments, because you got to believe that you belong there. You ever went to a place and you kind of felt out of pocket, like you felt that you didn't belong because maybe it was successful people around. Maybe you went into the Gucci store, the, the Versace store. Maybe you went somewhere and you just felt like these people are just too fancy for you. Well, listen, you got to get around these type of people because you got to get comfortable. Why? Because one day you're going to be them. Can I get an amen? Come on now. One day you're going to be that person. So I got into the gated community. I drove my little car to the back where the estates were. Beautiful homes. Gorgeous. And one thing about successful people in this neighborhood, very specifically, people will walk around. They walk all the time. Like rich people, they love to walk, man. They just walk around the neighborhood, walk the dogs. You see the wife and the husband walking. They just love to walk, okay? And there was a park. And this park <clears throat> is very nice. And I will park my car. And I would get out and I had my workout clothes and, you know, I'm sweaty, of course. And I sat down at the table and I'll never forget this. I will pull out my blue journal and I wrote, I can't, I'll never forget this. I wrote day one. Because that was the first day. That I actually wrote in my journal. Now listen. I've been told to write in my journal for many years. Like you know. It's not something new. I remember. When I used to go to seminars. They said you got to write down your goals. You got to write it down. You got to write it down. And I would never write it down. You know what I was saying? Well I already know what I want. I know what I want. I don't need to write it down. It's up here. Like a dumbass. I was stupid. And it took me five years of losing, not making money, the business unsuccessful, and I had children, couldn't pay child support properly, fighting with baby mama, okay, to finally realize that I needed to sit my ass down and write down what I wanted. And let me tell you something, that was a breakthrough for me. You know, when people ask me, what was the break? That, that was a breakthrough. The day that I actually took action. The breakthrough wasn't making a million dollars. The breakthrough wasn't buying a penthouse and, you know, retiring my parents and buying them. No, the breakthrough was the day that I decided to write down my goals and my dreams. Okay? Yeah, let me finish the story. So, <clears throat> now, before, when I'm going to write down my goals and dreams, I'm going to write, I want a brand new Lamborghini. I want a beautiful home. I want to travel the world. I want to retire my parents. I want to be financially independent. I want to be successful. I want to be a millionaire. That's how I was writing my goals down. How many of you can relate? Be honest. Okay. How many of you, that's how you currently write down your goals? I'm waiting for you in your comments below. 
what I want you to understand that you're doing it incorrectly. Okay? And I'm going to explain that in detail, I promise you. I want everybody to comment the word, go deeper, Wes. Go ahead. Comment those words below. Go deeper, Wes. Go deeper. I heard somebody say, how deep? Deep enough, don't worry. I'm going to go deep. Now listen. Let me explain something. When you write, I want a beautiful home, what you don't realize is that you're communicating lack to the universe. Okay? Now you got to get this. It's important. When you say, I want to be financially independent, your brain feels and thinks that you're not financially independent. Does that make sense? When you say, I want freedom, your brain believes that it's not free. When you say, I want to retire my parents, I want to take care of my mom, take care of my family. Your brain perceives that information as if you're not doing it and that is not happening. Does that make sense, folks? Are you with me? Now, if you don't understand the brain, let me give you the brevity of how the brain works. Your brain doesn't know the difference between an experience that is what you call reality and an experience that is happening in the mind alone. Does that make sense? I'll give you an example. Right now, you could think about something that makes you sad. Maybe you had a divorce, bad breakup. Somebody died in your family. You can think about that. And if you think about that long enough, you will, you will begin to cry. You will begin to feel sad emotions. But this event happened years ago, decades ago. But your brain, listen, doesn't know that that event happened 10 years ago. Your brain feels and thinks that is happening right now. That's why we start talking about your breakup. I start talking about your unhealthy relationships with your parents, whatever. You can just start crying. You just, you, you begin to um, feel sad for no reason. Does that make sense, ladies and gentlemen? Right? Let me give you one more example because I want you to get this deep. Listen. Have you ever been to a movie? Have you ever watched a movie that you really liked? A scary movie. Now, when you were in that movie, watching that scary movie, okay? And you were sitting with your boo, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your boo thing, whatever, your side piece. And when you will see a scary event. Okay? Something that you perceive as scary. Why did you get alarmed? Like, why did you, oh my God. Oh my God. Don't go down there. Right? Why do we get afraid when we're watching a movie that's on a movie screen and we're sitting in a chair Watching it, and we know we're safe. We know nothing's going to happen. But why, when we watch the movie, we believe or begin to feel scared? You ever thought about that? But let me tell you why. It's the same reason why a woman can watch a love movie and feel in love. She can see a love. She's like, oh, my God, I want to be in love, too. Oh, they're getting married. Oh, my God. You ever seen a woman cry at a wedding? You see a woman cry, somebody getting married on the TV. She's like, oh, my God, that's so beautiful. Oh, my God, that's just so. Right? Let me tell you what's happening in her brain. Her brain is perceiving that emotion as if it's hers. Get it? She, for, for one second... Oh, for several minutes, her beliefs are suspended and she perceives this as an actual experience. 
That's why she's able to feel those emotions. Okay? Now, you get it? You see how the brain works? So, back to the story. I didn't write, I want this. What I wrote, and I want everybody to do this right now. As a matter of fact, listen to me. Hey, big head, listen to me. I want you to go get a sheet of paper and get a pen right now, and I want you to do this with me. Now, if you want to be broke and poor and average for the rest of your fucking life, don't do it. But if you're serious about change right now in your life, get your ass out of that bed and get a sheet of paper and get a pen and do it right now as I'm speaking to you, okay? What I begin to do, when I was at my lowest moment financially in my life, I wrote, I am so grateful now. Listen, I am so grateful now that I'm earning $5,000 per day. Okay? I want you to write these words. I am so grateful now. Now, let me tell you why that's so powerful. I'm getting goosebumps right now. Oh, my God. I'm getting goosebumps. Oh, Jesus. I'm getting hot. I'm getting excited right now. Listen, when you write, I'm so grateful, how do you feel? Do you feel disappointed? Do you feel sad? Do you feel angry? Do you feel stressed? No. When you're grateful about something, you feel love. You feel peace. You feel happy. You feel elated. So when I wrote, I'm so grateful now that I earn $5,000 per day, I was communicating to my mind that I was already doing it. Even though in my perceived reality, I was not. But just like I just demonstrated, it doesn't matter. Because your brain doesn't know the difference between reality and actuality. Does that make sense? It doesn't know. Like a lot of you say, you know, my life is shit right now. My life is fucked up. Like your brain does not know. It doesn't know that your life is fucked up unless you communicate to yourself that it is. Your life... Listen, you could be in debt right now. You can feel you have no opportunities, but you can, wake up every, <clears throat> you can wake up every day excited about living, grateful to God, you know, happy. And your brain will perceive your reality as that. Even though you're in debt, can't pay your car note, don't know what you're going to do financially. Right? Are you with me here? So... When I begin to write, I'm so grateful now that I earn $5,000 per day every single day. I'm so grateful now that I now own a 3,000 square foot penthouse in Houston, Texas, where I can see my beautiful city as I lay on my bed and make love to the woman that I love. I'm so grateful now that I'm able to smell the bacon and eggs that's being prepared. From my shelf in the kitchen. I'm so grateful now that I can choose and select whatever car I want to drive for today. Is that making sense? See, when you write it that way, you're starting to feel and you're starting to compel your imagination to work to your benefit. Okay? Now listen, I'm not done. I want you to say, go deeper, Wes. Come on, say it. Comment below. Say, go deeper, Wes. Say it. Go deeper. Listen, there's another level to this that I'm going to share with you right now. I share this in my course, the Genie Script. Shout out to my Genie Script family. Listen, when you begin to write the goals and dreams and you start to implement modalities. Okay, you may not know what a modality is, but I'm explaining it to you. Your modalities are your five senses. What I want you to understand is that every single day of your life, you perceive the world 
through your five senses. What you see, what you hear, what you touch, what you taste. is how you interpret the world. Am I right? Think about it. I mean, that's how you make decisions on the planet. You know what you see. You see something beautiful. You see a beautiful woman. You see a beautiful man. Oh, I like that. You see a beautiful house. Oh, I like that. You see a beautiful car. Oh, I like that. You taste some good food. Mmm, that food was good. Like tonight, I went to a nice little dinner here. And I had some good food tonight. Mm, it was so delicious. You know, you know how you feel when you eat something good? Yeah. You know, I, I know how it feels when you hear something that you want to hear. Maybe a nice song, maybe a beautiful voice, right? How does that make you feel? Good, right? Well, we interpret the world that way. We feel what we see. We can touch and hear and smell. So, what I began to do, and then this is, I'm still at the park. Listen, I would spend two hours at this park every single day for about two to three years, okay, by the way. I wrote, I said, <clears throat> I'm so grateful now that I can smell the bacon and eggs that my shelf is preparing for me. I'm so grateful now that I can taste the salmon, not salmon, salmon, that my chef is searing for me and putting those vegetables that are fresh and organic on the side of my plate. Make sense? So I begin to inculcate the modalities, the five senses when I was writing down my goals and dreams. Now, why is this important? Okay? Why is this important, ladies and gentlemen? Listen, <clears throat> did you notice that when you begin to write and start to utilize your five senses, you start to feel good? Like when you start to write, I want to be rich, you don't feel nothing. Because I'm so grateful now that I'm rich. You feel a little bit. I'm so grateful now that I'm rich because now I can travel to one country per month first class. And I can taste that champagne that is on my lips, on my tongue. When I'm with my person of my dreams, I can see myself on a beautiful peach, beach in Bora Bora making love on the sand to the beautiful woman or man of my dreams. Does that make sense? Now, how do you feel when I say it like that? You're able to create pictures in the mind. I want everybody to come at the word picture. Okay? Do it now, please. Come at the word picture. Because I'm going to go deep. Listen. Picture. 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 Come at the word picture. In life, write this down, please. In life, we don't get what we want out of life. We get what we picture. Once you begin to change the picture in the mind of what you desire, it happens. You get it? When you start to make the five senses about your goals and dreams, when you start to think about what you want to smell, what you want to see, what you want to touch, what you want to feel, what you want to hear, as you write down your goals in great detail, you begin to create a new picture in the mind. Hit the love button if that makes sense, please. I better see my hearts. I want to see hearts. Hit the love button if that makes sense. You have to picture. Listen, big kid, picture. You got to change the picture in the mind. See, most of you, you're picturing poverty, struggle, pain, heartbreak. You're trying to protect yourself. 
You're pitching, picturing everything that's negative subconsciously in the mind. And that picture is so clear that you can't stop thinking about it. You probably start a new business, new company, but you only thinking about when you lost money from the last company. You start a new relationship, but you can only think about what the person did in a previous relationship. You make sense? You have to change the picture. And once you change the picture, you change your life. Oh, I got goosebumps again. Jesus, that was good. That was good, wasn't it? Of course it was. Does it make sense? See, they, don't, they didn't teach us this in high school. They didn't teach this in college, middle school, universities. They teach you that you got to work hard for money, that you got to slave for money. They're going to bust your ass for money. I'm not saying that you don't have to work, but what I'm saying is that you can work smarter. How? By understanding how your mind works as it relates to attaining goals and dreams. So every day... <clears throat> I was writing down exactly what I had. Not what I wanted. I said what I had. Now, I know some of you are confused. What, what do you mean what you had? Wesley, you didn't have $5,000 a day. You didn't have a brand new car. You didn't have a brand new penthouse. You didn't buy your parents brand new cars. Listen. Your brain doesn't know that. It doesn't know. Whatever you tell the mind, whatever you tell the brain, it will believe. Let me go deeper because you want me to go deeper. I know you do. Listen, let me go deeper. Your brain, I'm going to give you a metaphor. Your brain is nothing but a computer, okay? Okay. A computer. You know what a computer is? A hard drive? Whatever you program the hard drive to be, or whatever you program the computer to do, that's all it does. If you have Windows 98, it can only do it, can only do what Windows 98 does. It can't do no more, no less. Make sense? But if you want Windows 2000, you got to do what is called an upgrade. And to upgrade, you got to format. You know what format means? You have to erase everything that's there and install something new. Well, listen. Your brain is a hard drive. Your brain is not partial to negative or positive. It doesn't care. Your brain is constantly, consistently digesting information. How? How? What you listen to on the radio, what are you watching on TV, what you're watching on social media, your friends, your family, text messages, whatever conversations that you're having is being downloaded into your hard drive. Are you with me here? Okay. Which means is if you want a new program. You got to change the software. And listen, I, I know what your question is. You want to know how do I change the software, Wes? Let me ask you a question. On every computer, what is on every, what is attached to every computer on the planet? On the planet? Tell me. What is attached to every computer on the planet? Comment below. Okay. What does every computer have? I'm looking at the comments below here. Still, I like that. I like that, Vicky. Still writing. Listen, what does every computer have? Attached to it. No. 
A keyboard, big head. A keyboard. You know what a keyboard is? Okay? The thing that we type on. Whatever we type on the computer, on the keyboard, is programming the hard drive. Does that make sense? Whatever I'm typing, whatever I'm typing on the keyboard, okay, is programming the hard drive. I cannot program or reprogram a hard drive without a keyboard. You with me here? Okay. So what do you think is the keyboard for your brain? Oof. You got goosebumps again. Damn. What's the keyboard for your brain? Does anybody know? <clears throat> what is the keyboard for your brain? Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Come on, come on. Somebody has to answer. No, all of you are wrong so far. No. No. Wrong. No. No. Wrong. No. Wrong. No! Your mouth! Your mouth! Okay? Your mouth! What you say out of your mouth is programming your brain. Okay? If you wake up and say, oh, I'm tired, man. I don't feel like doing nothing. You won't do nothing. Of course, you're not. You're going to do nothing. If you say, oh, this always happens to me. It will always happen to you for the rest of your freaking life. I always mess up. I always get in these bad relationships. I always pick the wrong person. You will continue to pick the wrong person for the rest of your life. I always get into these Get rich quick schemes. You will always get into those schemes for the rest of your life. You get it? I always do this. I always make mistakes. I just can't get this right. You would never get it right. Not because you can't. Because this is what you're saying. That's the keyboard. Remember, your brain doesn't care that you're telling yourself all these horrible things. It doesn't care. It just... It doesn't feel no way about it. It just takes the information. Okay. She says this always happens to her. We're going to make sure that it continue to happen to her. Yep. He, he don't believe that he's good enough, smart enough. Okay. Well, we're going to make sure that's his reality. Oh, you're a procrastinator? You know, I always procrastinate. Okay. We're going to make sure that you continue to be a procrastinator forever. Your brain is just working from the instruction that you're giving it to work off of. Ooh, can I get an amen on that? I know you guys are clapping. How many of you got a breakthrough right now? I know, come to the word breakthrough if you had a breakthrough. I know you're having a breakthrough right now. I can feel it. You get it? And see, the thing is, this happens so subconsciously. And the reason why we are so unaware, because we've never been taught. How powerful what we say out of our mouths and how <clears throat> impactful and how detrimental it is to our lives. We've never been taught that. We're just out there talking. <clears throat> you ever said, man, I can't do this. I don't know how to do this. This is hard. Man, this is just too hard. Okay. Brain says, well, we're going to make sure that it's going to be very difficult for you. You can't do this? Great. You never will. Like your brain doesn't have feelings. It doesn't have any emotions. It's just doing exactly what you're told to do. It doesn't know that you really don't want to. 
Listen, you know what's so <clears throat> fascinating about the brain? It's going to give you what you want and also, listen please, what you don't want. You ever say, you know what? I don't want to ever go through this again. <laughs> and then you go through it again. You ever say, you know what? Oh, I just don't want to lose money. <laughs> and then you just continue to lose money. You ever said that? You know, I just don't want any problems. I don't want any problems. I want to do. I don't want any problems. And then you continue to get problems. Because remember, because I'm going to teach you here tonight, that your brain doesn't understand negations. Like it doesn't understand this word don't want. It only understands how you feel. So when we say, I don't want a man that cheats on me, well, you're going to get more of that because you just feel bad. You feel upset and sad and horrible. So it's going to match that emotion in the universe. So you're going to continue to attract that type of energy. Does that make sense? Same thing with your money, your business, your lifestyle, your health, everything. Are you with me here? I can't lose weight for all my overweight individuals. You ever said that? I just can't. I just can't get these pounds off my bunny. I can't get these last two pounds. Yeah, you never will. It's not that you can't, but you're communicating to your mind that you can't. And your mind is a hard drive, so it's only doing what it's been instructed to do. So back to my story, I was just writing down. I'm so grateful now, and I was describing, and I was in, I was writing. And this is the next key. You have to be very detailed. Everybody write down these words. Clarity is power. Write that down, please. Okay? Clarity is power. When you get clear about what you want, when you get detailed about what you want, it tends to happen. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? When you get very clear and you get very detailed about what you want. Wait, hold up. Let me go deeper again. Do you know what the word detail means? <clears throat> Do I have to give you guys another analogy? Another example? Because <sighs> some of you didn't graduate high school, unfortunately. So let me, let me do it for you. Listen. When I say detail... Let's imagine if I'm going to McDonald's. Now, listen, Western Virgin don't go to McDonald's because that food is disgusting. But let's imagine that if I go to McDonald's, okay? I'm going to McDonald's, right? And I'm like, hey, I'm at McDonald's. And I see the lovely young lady across the counter. And she's beautiful. And I asked her a question. I said, hey, hey, I'm hungry. Can I have a burger, please? Can I have a burger? Because I'm starving, you know, and I'm not hungry. I am hangry. I want some food right now, okay? And let me ask all of you a question for a second here. What is that lady going to tell me if I ask her for a burger? Can I have a burger, please? Please, can I have a burger? Can I? Can I? Can Daddy West have a burger, please? Well, let me tell you what happens. The young lady's going to politely say, with a smile on her face, well, sir, what kind of burger you want? Now, let me ask you a question. Why would she ask me what kind of burger I want? Why can't she just give me a burger? Why does she have to ask me what kind? Answer the question. Why don't you just go in the back and give me a burger, just what I asked for? Because that's all I asked for. I just want a burger, okay? Can anybody answer that question for me? Exactly. Because there are different kinds, different kinds of burgers, you know? It's different types of burgers. Some burgers are medium. Some burgers are well done. And some burgers are just right. But listen up. 
The reason why that lady is going to ask what kind of burger, because if she come out and she said, OK, sir, I'm going to give you a burger. And she gives me a piece of raw fucking meat and say, sir, here's your burger. You'll say, ma'am, what is this? It's a burger. This is not a burger. This is a piece of meat. Well, sir, you just asked me for a burger. You didn't say you want to cook. You didn't say you want a bun. You didn't say you wanted tomatoes. You said you want a burger. So here is the raw meat. And now you're pissed. Well, guess what? That's that's your life. That's what you've been getting. Raw meat. <laughs> you know why? Because you're, you're like, I want to be successful. I want to be a millionaire. What? Yeah, I want to be successful. Well, what do you want? Well, I want more money. Here's a dollar. You got more money. No, no, a dollar? Well, that's more money than you had before. No, no, no. Well, I don't mean that. I want to be, well, I want to be happy. Well, aren't you happy now? Well, yeah, yeah, I guess I am happy, but I want to be more happier. You get it? See, that person is unclear about what they want. Listen, comment these words below. And I want you to share this video as well. Clarity is power. Write that down, please. Clarity is power. I want you to write that seven times for me, okay? Write it seven times. Because I need to put this shit deep inside of your mind. I want it so deep inside of you, inside that mind of yours. I want you to hear my voice in the morning. And at night, clarity is power. And if you keep asking for a burger, you're going to keep getting the raw meat. And nobody eat no goddamn raw meat. I'm not eating that shit. I ain't no raw meat. Animals eat raw meat. Not human beings. Right? If I'm going to McDonald's, I'm going to say, sir, I want a cheeseburger. As a matter of fact, I want a double cheeseburger. I want a sesame seed bun. I want onions. I want tomatoes. I want to cook uh, my burger medium well. I want salt. I want ketchup. I want mustard. And I want some mayonnaise on my burger. And I want it toasted on a toasted bun. And I want a side of fries. And I want a root beer. Clarity is power. That lady gonna be like, no problem, sir. It'll be right out in 10 minutes. This is how you put your order in for the universe. Okay? Get it? The more clear you are when you begin to write down your goals and your dreams and your desires, the things that you want in your life, well... Does that make sense? The things that you want in your life, when you start to send an accurate order to the universe, you get it. So I want everybody right now for the next 60 seconds, I want you to tell me what you want. And I want you to write no more than three to five paragraphs. And I want you to be very clear, very detailed, and very specific on what you want. Starting now. Go. 60 seconds. Write down what you want. And I want you to write, I'm so grateful now that I now... Whatever you want. Go. 60 seconds. The time has started. And listen, if you don't do this, you're stupid. And I'm going to slap the shit out of you. Okay? So get it done. Go. Keep writing. 40 seconds. Keep writing. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds, keep writing. Just 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2. Okay, I'm going to read. I'm so grateful now that I'm making over 10000 a month now. No, I don't like it. Why did you put over $10,000? Be very specific. $10,001? $10,002? I'm so grateful now. I'm just reading you guys what you wrote down below here. I'm so grateful now that I now have the man of my dreams. Ooh. Mm. Improve and enjoy myself with soft, festive, and lavish luxury life. No, it's not clear enough. You use a lot of adjectives, but you need to be a bit more specific than that. I'm so grateful now that I'm driving my new all-white peanut butter seats 2024 Porsche pattern. Rim. Oh, I like that. Okay. Yes. I like that. I'm so grateful now that I booked on the episode on Yellow Jackets. What is this? What episode? What is Yellow Jackets? Uh, okay. All right. Now... <clears throat> this is what we're going to do. Now, it's going to take some work here. And I want you to do it too. Okay? I want you to write it again. And I want you to be more detailed. And I want you to be more specific. Can you do that for me? Can you do that for me? You better. Alright? I want you to be detailed. And I want you to be more specific. And I want you to write it again. I'm going to give you 60 more seconds here. Now, listen, this is mentorship here. You asked for it, okay? You want a millionaire mentor, right? So this is me. This is Daddy West on that ass. So I want you to write it down right now. You got 60 seconds starting now. Write it again and be more detailed. Include the five senses, folks. Go. Keep writing. writing and you have to be able to write on write on the pressure make sense keep writing even on the pressure right right <laughs> I know some of you guys are under pressure right now but right I know you're tired so what let the sleep people stay broke let the rich people stay rich because they up, they're working. High energy, high income. You got 30 seconds. Keep writing. I can see you, young lady. Keep writing. Come on, young man, push. It's like a gym workout. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. 20 seconds. See, I was a trainer. You guys don't realize I was a trainer back in the day. I used to train women. I really did. 200 women in a park. And they love when Daddy West got on that ass. Because I was tough. I don't play. Come on. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, I'm in Spanish as well, guys. I'm in Colombia now. I know Spanish now. I got a great, I got a great teacher. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. I'm so grateful. I'm so happy and grateful now. I'm so grateful now that I want to have a better life. Listen, don't write Mr. Barnes. Don't write better life and a happier life. You need to explain what a better life is. Some people think a better life is 10,000 a month. Some people think a better life is having a baby. Some people think a better life is just having a love. That What is a better life and a happier life to you? Some people, a happier life is having a Fucking dozen Krispy Kreme donuts right now. Okay? What is a happier life? What does it mean to you? Don't use 
adjectives and descriptors. Be very specific. What do you want? How do you know? How do you become a happy person? What needs to happen in your life for you to be happy? Many of you think that you want money. You don't want money. You want what money will provide you. Does that make sense? People want experiences. They don't want just money. Oh, I want more money. No, you don't. You want the money to buy stuff. Money gives you options. And let me go deeper. Let me go real deep inside you. Check this out. You don't even really want the stuff. Nah. You don't want to retire your parents. You don't want to buy a brand new Mercedes and a brand new car. You want the feeling. You want the feeling. That's what you want. You want to like, yes, I did it. Yes, I'm happy. Everything that money can buy you, you're just going to feel good. Am I right? I mean, if you retire your parents, are you going to feel good or bad? You're going to feel good. You're going to feel good. If you prove your father or your mother wrong, like, now nah, I proved you wrong. I made that shit happen. You're going to feel good. Okay? I know I felt good when I proved my father wrong. He thought I wouldn't, he thought I wouldn't make the million. He thought I wasn't going to do it. Because he like, you know, just, you know, throw a little tease, kind of tease me a little bit love, about my dreams. And I showed him. It felt good to pull up in the Lamborghini. In the ghetto. He was like, he was just floored. He was like, damn, my son really did it. Of course I did. Thanks for the motivation, Dad. Listen, <clears throat> I want you to realize something here. I want you to be very clear. Okay? How many of you right now can feel... Or now you have a vivid picture in your mind of what you want. Comment below breakthrough. You got a clear picture, right? I want you to understand something. So I was at that park, back to the park, right? So when I would write this down, I would write one full page. And then what I would do, this is the next step. I will walk around the park reading the goals to myself over and over and over and over and over again. Okay? I will walk around and Wesley, listen, I don't do cardio. Anybody know Wesley Virgin? I don't run and I don't walk. I don't like it. But as it relates to my dreams, Wesley Virgin decided to walk. I'm walking. <laughs> I was walking, okay? Because I wanted that shit to happen. Write this word down. Repetition is the mother of skill. Write it down. Repetition is the mother of skill. Which means, in layman's terms, anything that you want deeply in the mind subconsciously for you to believe that everything that you write on that sheet of paper is real, you have to repeat it. Okay? Over and over and over and over and over again. How do I know this is true? Listen, many of you that lack confidence, <clears throat> you know, you don't have any confidence, well, because growing up, no one told you you were handsome. No one told you you were beautiful. No one told you you were great. No one told you you were smart. No one gave you any type of positive reinforcements. So you lack confidence. Because no one made you feel good about yourself. Many of you have low self-esteem. You have a low self-image. Why? Because no one ever told you how great you were. No one told you they love you. No one told you you're a queen. No one told you that you're a king, that you're a god, that you're phenomenal. No one has ever given you these words. The only thing you ever heard was this. You can do better. Why are you not going good enough? No, you can't do this. No, I don't have money. Stop talking so much. Stop doing this. That's what you heard. Repeatedly. That's why so many of you as adults... 
You don't have a proper self image. You lack confidence. Okay? Does that make sense? That's why. Because you repeatedly heard things that were negative. How many of you had a parent that always had some negative shit to say about you? Okay? How many of you have somebody in your life that always see the glass half empty? They always see the goddamn clouds in the sky. It could be sunny. Beautiful day. They were like, yeah, it's sunny, but look at those clouds to the left. These motherfuckers always see something cynical and negative. Right? Ooh, look at that. Somebody said that my dad, my late dad. Damn. I can relate. And let me tell you something, you know, don't be upset at these people. Don't be upset at your parents. It is what it is. <clears throat> but let me tell you something. The best revenge is massive success. Okay? That's the best revenge in life. Massive success. Someone said both parents. Damn. You know, it's pretty fucked up when the people that raise you don't believe in you. Fuck. That's another level of fuckery. You know, the people that put you on the planet that you've seen for the first 18 years of your life don't believe in you. You know, they may say things, well, go get, just go get a job. Why do you keep jumping into all these different companies? Why do you keep jumping into all these businesses? You had something stable there. Just, you know, I know. I can relate to that. And all you want somebody to just to believe in you. That's all you want. Somebody to say, hey, I'm with you. I support you. You know who that person was for me? My mother. Shout out to Joanne Virgin. I love her to life. My mom, she believed in my crazy ass dreams. Still now. She says, son, I know one day I'm going to see you on TV with Oprah Winfrey. Mom, I love you. Damn. That's why I will always give her the best. Always. Because she just knew what was happening in my mind. That I was going to do phenomenal things. I mean, when I was at my lowest, my mom would always be that positive reinforcement in my life. And I get it. Some of you don't have anybody. You don't have anybody in your life that's a supporter of your dreams. But guess what? I'm your supporter. I believe in you. You're going to do it. Trust me. It's going to happen for you. That's why I do these rants every night. Because it's a reminder for you to understand that somebody's on your side. Even though I don't know you. Many of you don't even know you. I still love you. Maybe I'll never meet you. Hopefully I will. You know, when I do seminars around the world, obviously. I would get to hug you and shake hands. But for right now, I'm just a black screen. <laughs> right? And it's just important for you to hear me. Right? And I take what I do very seriously here. I want all of you to understand this, that we were all born with greatness, but we're not destined for greatness. Greatness has to be cultivated. And what we're doing tonight is that we're cultivating the greatness that's in all of you. Like, I'm so proud of you because, you know, for the first time you guys actually wrote down your journey. Listen, I've been on this live for the last hour. For the last 30 minutes, you've been writing down your goals and dreams for 30 minutes. Not watching TV, not watching the episode, not watching TikTok, not doing playing games. You are writing your goals. Do you understand the effects that it's going to take place in your brain just by doing that? Oh, my God. Jesus. Do you understand the power that just took place? For the last 30 minutes, you just wrote down your goals. You wrote it again. You got clarity. You wrote it again. You got more clear. Do you not understand that you're going to go to bed thinking about this conversation? Thinking about what you wrote down? Those thoughts are going to be cultivated and permeated in your mind. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, I'm excited for you.
How do you feel? Folks, I'm done. What we did tonight, I just taught you how to write down your goals and dreams. So I did that every day for about two years. And let me tell you something. I just... Listen, I convinced my mind that I was already rich. I tell many people, so I felt and thought I was a rich man two years before I accumulated a million dollars. Let me say that one more time. I felt and thought that I was a rich man two years before I've accumulated a million dollars. For those two years, I was overly focused. For those two years, man, I was so just focused. I was so just, I just, I was so focused, folks, that I knew that it was happening. It was no more that it's a process. I wouldn't say things like, oh, it's a process, it's going to happen. I was saying that it's happening. It's happening right now. And I want you to realize this. Uh, once you guys, I want you to realize that it's happening right now. Okay. If you want me to repost this, can you kindly do me a favor? Can I get all of you to share this right now, if you don't mind? I will post this. I'd ask all of you to save it. Love it and share it. Share it with someone else because they need it. Tonight I gave you a gift. And I spoke from my heart. You know, I have no script. I never have a script. I get inspired to do these from people just like you that want to win. I had a dinner tonight with a young lady. They were sharing some things with me. And now, for the first time, I know she's destined to win. She is. And sometimes it just takes time. It's a timing. And the timing is, are you able to reach emotional levels within yourself to allow your dream to be revealed? And I think all of you tonight realize that it's your time. And what I want you to do, I want you to write these goals down every day. Exactly what you did tonight. If you need to listen to this again, do it. If you need to listen to it every day for the next year, do it. I mean, you got to do something anyway. Why not do something that's going to be conducive to the man or woman that you want to become? Write it down every day. I promise you, if you write this and your goals, the way that I share with you every single day for the next three months, you'll be a totally different person. And a totally different person will get total different results. I love you. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for sharing this with others. Just hit the share button for me. Show me some love. Show me some love. I deserve it. And hit the share button and the like button. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Much love. This is Wesley, Billion Dollar Virgin. Much love and let's go.